click on verify route grant congratulations root access is properly installed on this device With the introduction of Android 11 rolling out for a lot more devices, people are updating it without knowing that it's becoming even more complex for you to root your device. And without the proper steps, you might end up with a boot loop. So if you want to root your Android 11 device or if you want to install Magis 22.0, which changed from 21.0, so the steps are completely different now, keep watching this video and make sure you do not skip a part because if you do, you might end up doing some mistake which will end up in making your device not turn up again. So please watch it completely and in this video we will safely root my phone which is K20 Pro on Android 11. Without wasting any more time, now let's get directly into the video. Alright, so the first thing that you have to do is navigate to this website, the link of which will be found in the description section below. And if you click there on your laptop or on your mobile phone, you have to scroll down until the point where you see the download button. Here, it says download Magis cap and on top you can see version 22.0. Make sure this is the 22.0 version that you're downloading. Click on download Magis cap and it's gonna download an APK to your mobile phone. The name of this APK I'll show you here is called magisk22.0.apk. Make sure this is the exact name that it says when you're downloading it. And once you click on download, it's gonna download on your system. Now, the important thing starts here. After it is downloaded, if it is on your laptop, move to that file or if it is on your mobile phone, move to that on a file explorer because basically all you have to do is rename it. And I'm gonna click on here and click on rename. Now you don't have to change the name, but the place where you say APK, you have to click and make it ZIP. So basically it's gonna be now Magisk v22.0.zip. Click on OK and rename it. And now it's gonna magically change into something like zip file. That's all. Now make sure you turn yourself into your TWRP recovery. So I'm gonna turn it on like this. If you don't have TWRP recovery installed on your mobile phone, first of all, go to the second link in the description of the video right below the Magisk link. There you will be able to find all the devices which support TWRP recovery. If your phone is one of them, you can make sure to click here to install the recovery because I've made a video about it in the past. But if you have already installed, this is what you need to do. So once you go here, click on install and locate the file which you renamed. So this is the file that you renamed, Magisk 22.0. And this version, you just have to click here and slide. And you will see something of this sort happening on your mobile phone right now. Now this should get successful after the end. So it should give you a message saying something like installation successful. And that is when you know that you have successfully installed Magisk. Right here, if you see, the last thing that you got was called done. And that means that the installation of this Magisk has been successfully on your mobile phone. So all you need to do now is reboot. And when the phone's gonna boot up, you will be able to see that your phone is now rooted and second of all, you will have Magisk Manager installed on your mobile phone. So after your mobile will restart, you will not be able to still find where the Magisk icon is. That's because now if you see, you will see something like Magisk and you have to tap in here to get a message, upgrade to full Magisk to finish the setup. Click on OK. So this basically is now going to download the Magisk Manager. Now, if you have installed this Magisk before, but an older version, you will know that this used to come as a Magisk manager and a Magisk zip file. Click on install. So now they changed and they merged both of these files into one. So the zip file that you flash is the APK of Magisk manager. So basically after flashing the zip file, it automatically downloads. And here you have Magisk installed on your phone. I'll show you the version, it's 22.0 version, that means it's installed. Now quickly let's go ahead and check on root checker if your phone is rooted. Agree. I don't need this. Click on verify root. Grant. Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. With Android version 11. So that's the latest version. So with that, I end today's video and if this video was of any help to you, don't forget to like this video or subscribe to my channel. That's going to help me a lot. 
If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section below or reach out to me on my social media handles which are being displayed on your screen right now. And I'll catch you guys in the next video next week. Until then, take care.